Good morning. This is Black Crow walking from Australia. Well, here we are in the end of November and nearly midsummer, and it's cold. <laughs> What's that all about? Well, we all know, don't we? But anyway, I guess it's better than being super, super hot because you can put more clothes on, but you can't take enough off <laughs> when you're really hot. Anyway. We're up to chapter 11 today in The Course of Love by Mari Perrin. And you can start this book anywhere you like, and it's fabulous. Um, if you'd like to join my YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to it. Uh, you will just be able to type in my name and you can start the book wherever you want to. All the YouTubes are up there. And from day one... It's just blessed me incredibly. So today we're talking about free will and willingness. And willingness or will is one of my favorite words. And when I say, would you be willing? It taps in to something in you that asks yourself, well, will I, would I be willing? Exactly. Would I be willing? And it's such a good question, isn't it? Would you be willing to see the world differently? Would you be willing to see your life differently? Would you be willing to see your body differently? To see who you are differently? Would you be willing? I love it. Free will and willingness. The exercises in this course of love are few. And they are contained within the course itself rather than separated from it. There are but a few reasons for this method. The first is your attitude towards instruction. And the fact that you do not really desire it. <laughs> ah, she knows us well, doesn't she? What you desire is what cannot be given from anywhere but your own source. Again, you realize this aspect of creation and it is it has helped to solidify your stance against union and your lack of desire for instruction. This is due to your confusion about your source. All of your fierce determination to hang on to your individuality stems from this confusion. If your source were truly your body and the brain that causes it to function, then you would indeed be required to learn things on your own. For all true learning must come from your source. Ain't that the truth? We can go and do heaps of courses, but, you know, we don't take it in, you know. We we buy all these books and we do all these courses and then we never practice it. What is that? True learning must come from your source, the source inside you. You know those aha moments that we have. That's when we really get it. That's when change can happen. That's when progress can happen. That's when where evolution can happen. Evolution is, is so exciting. Think your, You think your source and your creator is two separate things. And too seldom remember even that you are not your own creator. You have made this separation based on the idea that what created you cannot be one with you. Again, this only points to your lack of recognition of what creation really is. And when you would practice creativity, you realize it is the celebration of the creator. And when you honor artists of all kinds, you honor but this fact. Every poem bears the mark of its creator, 
as does each work of art you would gaze upon and call a masterpiece. As well as these creations of little hands you hang on the refrigerator from your grandchildren or your children. Mm. She's got it because <laughs> we do. We put everything on our refrigerator that our kids and our grandkids make because we're so proud of them. You did not create yourself. There you go. You didn't create yourself. And yet you make of life a creation of yourself. That's right, from day one. When we come into this world, we're constantly creating ourselves, constantly discovering ourselves, constantly moving into loving or hating ourselves, aren't we? There's so many of us who are trained not to love ourselves. <laughs> And yet, we are the creation of love, the creation of God. And then you created yourself and your journey. You're designed as a master creator. What are you creating? And what have you created so far? Has anyone told you you're beautiful today? That's how it is. This is one reason you do not like the idea that those who would instruct you know more than you know now and why you begin each course of learning by feeling as if you have less. You then begin your attempt to acquire what you lack so that you no longer have less than anyone else. Some of you may be confident in your learning skills and rush in to conquer this new itinerary as you have others that have come before the answer my friend is inside you these would read each book as quickly as they can with highlighters in tow and when they've found the last page be done with learning what this book would have to teach and rush on to the next text. Those of you less confident may quit before you begin in order to keep from failing one more time. Even those who feel the power of these words within their hearts and vow to go slowly and carefully through each page and section, giving total dedication to what this text would have them do are at risk of trying too hard to be earnest rather than simply desiring to learn. I don't know about you, but I've, <laughs> I've actually read A Course of Miracles <coughs> four times now. I've studied it four times and I did it really slowly and meticulously and I pulled it apart and I really ate the words and it has influenced me. It has changed me. It has gotten in there. And I have learnt from it. And I have understanding now. But it's the inner source that is inside me that has actually taken that information and lived it. Has taken that information and truly explored the truth of it and my aha moments my source this creator being that I am which was created by creator is in the truth of it now and I can't say that I fully understand any of it because it is very powerful and very full on but the part of me that has had that truth go aha uh -huh. yeah that's it that's my truth that's who i am understands it on a level of the heart 
And now that we're studying the course of love, the heart is rejoicing. It's happy. It's creating. It's creating a new pathway to come from feelings and heart rather than head. And my heart is very happy with that. And it's happy with that for a couple of reasons. Because I understand fully that I'm a programmed being. And that those programs were programmed in me by dysfunctional people. And society. And politicians. And schools. And sometimes bashed into me. You don't do this. You don't do this. You get a smack. So I had to learn their way. And so I don't take too much notice of my mind anymore. I do use my intelligence in the correct way. But not to think about. Not to think. Not to think. <laughs> it's the truth. Not to think. But rather to feel. To feel into it. How does it feel for me? What's that feel like? What does it feel like in my body? And then I sit with it in my heart and in the source of love. And I ask. I ask to be shown clearly, to be shown more, to be shown confirmation. Confirmation is amazing. Spirit loves to confirm things for you. But your heart knows the truth. And love is always present and shows up when you need it. Just tune in, tap in and turn on to your feelings. And put those feelings, the intelligence of those feelings, in inquiry into your heart. Let the inquiry, 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 <laughs> it's a hard word to say sometimes. Let the inquiry of the heart determine for you the right path for you. And if it reeks of self-care and self-love, you're on the right path. But if, if there is judgment or opinions or criticism, or perceptions, you're in your thinking mind, and that is not love. That is not love, that is fear. Well, I'm off to have a beautiful day, and I'm going to create my life today. To be a person who is truly living every moment. And I'm going to focus today on being in this moment. And this moment. And this moment. And letting it be delicious for me. Letting it be an experience that I'm willing to have without any resistance and any struggle. And I'm not even going to try and think about it. I'm just going to create it. I'm going to create my moments. Now. I love you. Bye for now.